Alright, hello guys. Um, it's going to be the last video for today. Um, as you can see, my corn has grown a little too tall while in the pot. Um, you can see how it's really thin there. Um, what I want to do is uh, take it out of the entire pot and then stick it in the ground and bury it up to about here. But the only problem is last year when I did that, it got torn to torn to shreds by groundhogs and squirrels and so on and so forth. So instead what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try a little experiment. This may or may not work, but I'm going to stick a bamboo pole that I have into the soil right in the center. As you can see right in there. And now what I'm going to do is try, try to do this. See, um, I'm going to try and get them to actually lean on the pole. Um, the shorter ones may not have as much of a problem, but I'll do that anyway. And move that here. I should get uh, pipe cleaners, but um, I don't know where they are, so I can't get, I can't find them, so. I'm going to put this one right up here, see if this works. Alright, so far it actually is working. So now I just got to wrap these last two around here. And then, oh, this one's coming undone. Okay, looks like we got them attached to the uh, bamboo stick now. I'm going to push the bamboo a little bit. Alright, it is all the way in. Alright, so there's that right there. And uh, I'm going to, maybe I will find some pipe cleaners and attach them to each other. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Tie them all together. And hopefully they'll grow. Hopefully the corn isn't going to have a hard time popping through when it comes time to wear it. Uh, shows itself. Alright, All right. I got a uh, pipe cleaner right here, and now I'm gonna tie the corn together. Here's something cool that I actually learned. You see how the corn actually looks like grass? That's because, in case you didn't know, corn is grass. So, it's a cute, cool little fun fact. Oh, I'm just gonna set the camera there. I'm going to wrap this around very gently, not too tight, because the stalk of corn is very, very fragile, just like regular old grass. And, however, I have never seen corn recover from being snapped in half, so it's, it may be glass, but it's not as, or grass, but it's not as strong as grass. So. Otherwise, the ones that have been torn to shreds last year would have come back before the winter was over. Alright, so that's what I have. There may or may not be enough room for the uh, corn cobs to come through, but uh, we'll just see what happens. Um, if push comes to shove, I'll separate uh, I'll uh, separate them from each other again and just stick them in the ground, probably put a fence around them or something. But let's just see what happens first. I'll, I'll do that as a last resort, because I'm getting corn this year. I don't care what the animals out here think. They are not touching my corn, because <laughs> I only got one cob last year. Alright, enough of my complaining. Uh, thanks for watching, and feel free to check out my other videos.